Hello and welcome to all of the very best coverage from the 18th edition of the LAX Open. My name is Tim Warwood and I'm very excited to bring you all of the best action. Let's talk about the half pipe then. Here we go. Crystal Globe will be decided. We've got the world's very best in town riding the world's very best pipe. We also have Jenny Jones out there. Jenny, how is it going? Looks like it is a great forecast for the whole event and the athletes are already up there riding the half pipe, getting their training in. I'm really excited for this event. Can't wait for it to kick off. I am stoked to be here and watch some world-class snowboarding. Let's take a look at the pipe itself. It's always a work of art here in Lux, the epicenter of freestyle in Europe. And once again this year, it's, it's a beauty, isn't it? It's beautiful. I mean, to have this weather and the conditions we have here and to be back in Lux, just doing our thing, is just amazing. I'm so happy to be back in Lux. It's my favorite place and kind of my home away from home. So happy to be back riding in the sunshine and my favorite half pipe. Everybody put the really hard trick during the competition. So it's definitely exciting. This season has been really good to me. First one I, I won in Copper, and second one Mammoth, and this is my third competition. And last season I missed all the competition because of COVID. So it's really excited to, to be back and back to the competition and with all the amazing girls. Talk about the winner from the semi-finals, qualifying in first place. When she's on fire, no one's going to beat her. Chloe Kim. My second run, I went air front seven, cab nine, switch back seven, McTwist. Yeah, everything went really well. I'm excited. I'm happy now, but uh, I want to make it. Uh, switch back 12 in the first hit. This is uh, crazy, but uh, I want to make a triple clock this uh, this competition. Really looking forward to being in the mix of a final again. Um, it's a really good competition this year. It's a really good challenge. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to being a part of that mix. And uh, I'll let the rest just happen. Put down the run I was planning on today. And uh, yeah, just happy. I kind of used it as a day to build on uh, for Saturday evening. And it executed well. So feeling good moving forward. Women's snowboard half pipe finals, then eight women, eight of the very best women. It's the best of two runs, and that really just helps to breed the progression, to put down your best run. I've just been watching the men and women warm up, and the standard is so high. Chloe Kim, no surprises there, she is looking strong. But the one I'm intrigued about is Shu Tong Kai, because she is in with a chance for that crystal globe. Stay with us, it's about to start. Really nice, big hits coming in now. Huge front side 540, great grab on that. Tail grab for Quirrell. Keep your eyes on this, Mitsuki Ono then. Second in lax here last year. Massive 900. The big switch 1080. I'm really happy to land my Cal 1080. That was my first land Cal 1080. So I'm so excited. Massive backside there into the front side 1080. Look at the size of it. It feels so good. I think like when you go a certain height, you don't know where you're going to land. So it's always like kind of a mental battle. And uh, I'm just so happy I was able to land my first run. 
and then your podium, Quirrell Castellet from Mitsuki Ono and Chloe Kim taking top spot. It's time now for the men to take their first runs in this half pipe here in Larks. All chasing Australia's Scotty James, a man that has won here countless times. Mr. Snowboarding himself, Sean White. Is this the double 1260? It should be. Yes, it is. Well held. And then a frontside 12. The goal was to come here and earn that spot for China, and I did that. So I'm so happy. Come on, Jan Shearer. Massive backside 900. It is textbook perfect. Into the front side. Double cork 1440. Double 1080. Into a 1260. And here's the huge alley oop. Oh, the reaver at the end. Today was just really, it worked out really well. Um, came up here and was really surprised of how good the, the halfpipe was today. Like really, I came up and was like, okay, the snow condition was perfect, the halfpipe was perfectly shaped, and I felt really amazing. And then I knew, okay, today could be the day where I can push the limits. What has Ayumu Hirano got? Yeah, and Ayumu Hirano is your champion here. What an incredible final. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric. Chloe Kim, her fourth win at the LAX Open, which is absolutely amazing. And then and then Shu Tong Kai, she wins the Crystal Globe. And oh my gosh, Ayumi. What was that all about? Absolutely amazing riding. Back to back 14s, the crowd were going nuts. And he's a Crystal Globe winner as well. Look at this, look at this crowd out here. Give us a cheer. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Kind of wish I sent it a little bit more, but that's all right. There's next year and I'll come back with more tricks and more comfortability, so it's all good. <laughs>